A best-selling author from Holland has been working to get more than 150 people out of Afghanistan. And now with the withdrawal of U.S. troops, the families are trying to stay hopeful despite the uncertainty. News 8's Kyle Mitchell is in studio tonight with the latest on the evacuation effort. Kyle. Brian, we first spoke with author Deborah Rodriguez right before the last U.S. troops left the country. The families who worked for her nonprofit in Kabul qualified to apply for special visas, but most remain in limbo. She's trying to connect them with resources to get out. With the Taliban now back in control of Afghanistan. The women aren't leaving the houses because they're just in fear. Uh, a lot of people are not able to work. Author Deborah Rodriguez is keeping hope that the employees and family members of her nonprofit in Kabul will be able to evacuate. A few have made it out or are in the process of getting out, but most remain uncertain about the future. Everybody just waiting. Nobody knows where the safety is. Nobody knows, you know, they they don't trust the Taliban and they don't believe what they're saying. Um, and the dust is still settling. Rodriguez, who is from Holland, moved to Afghanistan and started a beauty school, something that was considered taboo by the Taliban. She opened a coffee shop and wrote two books on the country. Afghans are the most resistant and resilient and courageous people literally on the face of the earth and they will figure this out a few have been able to get out of the country rodriguez is hopeful charter flights and private military contractors will be able to assist in the process we're literally just waiting to hear what the Taliban government is going to allow to happen she says the people are resourceful and especially older generations who know when the Taliban was in control know how to navigate difficult situations. Do I need to believe that the families that need to get out will get out? And I'm there's many people advocating for them. Rodriguez says in addition to the struggle to leave the country, many Afghans don't have passports or other documentation they need to apply for visas.